at my Red Centers of America conference. Uh, we sold out all of our stuff at our booth, but we have Farmer Brad here. Hi. <laughs> Tell everybody where you're from. I'm uh, from East Central Indiana, and I raise pasture poultry and make automatic chicken water buckets. Uh, I have a family of uh, three girls and a wife on an eight-acre homestead. Awesome. So we're going to do a demo here? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm going to make a sow the land bucket into an automatic chicken water bucket where you hook it up to the garden hose, and it refills automatically. Uh, so the first step is uh, 11 30 second uh, drill bit and I have my guide that I've had since 2015 uh, when I first started making these buckets and I just use that uh, as a guide to get an idea of where to put the holes. And then uh, when you buy a lot of uh, horizontal water nipples, uh, they send you this little adapter, which works great. Now the key with it is uh, oops, the key with it is when you uh, drill it into the bucket, is you want to put pressure on it, and then orient it the correct way. Uh, if the bucket bows out, then it will be more likely to leak. But one nice thing is that these flare, so as you're drilling it in, it seals better. So there's no need for Teflon tape on that. Right, oriented the right way. Two more to do. And then for the float valve that goes in the bucket, I like using a stepper drill bit. And then I just taped it off so that I can get to the right size. And you want to make sure that it's in line with the handle uh, so that it won't um, get unbalanced. So I'm just going into that to the tape. I have a deburring tool that I can just take that in there and deburr it. And the other benefit with uh, horizontal float valves are that you can sit the bucket on the ground and it's not going to leak out the water. Uh, so here I'm taking this float valve, and when the water uh, gets lower, it automatically refills. Is it the same concept as like a toilet? Yes, yes, definitely. So I'll tighten it, and you want to make sure that it goes the uh, correct way. If you install it in upside down, uh, you don't have a mess on your hands. So then I snug it down real tight so it doesn't rotate any. And then this part, I do have to put some Teflon tape on it. Um, and so I just do uh, two or three passes of Teflon tape. And then I just turn that in there. Do it like that. Now this is uh, the reverse osmosis tubing, it's a fourth inch. Uh, so if you search for it on Amazon, just search fourth inch uh, tubing. And uh, I think we decided we're gonna do it this long so that it will go out of the chicken tractor and then uh, the garden hose will be on the ground uh, so that it's not pulling on it. And these are uh, quick connects, so I just uh, push that in there and it bites down, kind of like a shark bite fitting. And then this is a little collar just for extra bit of uh, insurance that it's not gonna pull out. Now on the other end, I have this uh, garden hose adapter that goes to a fourth inch reverse osmosis tubing and I just pushed it on there. There we go. And here you have an automatic chicken water bucket that you're able to refill automatically. Now, I told Jason uh, that I recommend him putting a lid on it and drilling a hole in the top. The hole is for venting, so as the water comes in, that air is able to go out. Um, and I do offer do-it-yourself kits on my website on farmerbrad.com. Um, so if the do-it-yourself is a little intimidating, then you can go ahead and buy a two gallon already assembled, ready to go, and uh, your chickens will thank you for it. Do you have any questions? People can find us on your website? Yeah, farmerbrad.com. Okay.
And then uh, you have, you're on Instagram, you have a YouTube channel? Yes, uh, my YouTube channel is Farmer Brad LLC. And I try to focus farming with technology and automating things uh, because my day job, I'm a web developer. So I don't have a lot of time. So this is kind of how this idea came about. All right, so <laughs> what was that? Like five minutes? That was less than five minutes. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I can make four of those complete in about 20 minutes. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, so basically you, people order them and I make them the next morning. And then you use these for your chicken tractors? Yeah, and I daisy chain them. Okay, and you have that on your YouTube channel? You yeah, that? yeah. How that works, okay. Yeah, so I'm able to daisy chain three chicken tractors, uh, John Siskovich chicken tractor with two Peterson chicken tractors, and I'm able to get the chores done in about 15 minutes of watering and feeding them by filling up a 15 gallon tank that's on the back of my John Siskovich style chicken tractor. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome, man. So there's this extra seal here. Um, some garden hoses may need it, some may not. So it's uh, there for you to help seal it. And then if you need to adjust it, um, this one has a screw, so you can get a small screwdriver and adjust the height. I so, so the water will fill up, and yep. then when it, that comes up, it'll stop? Yeah, yeah, because there's like a little hole, and then this is a plunger, and it plunges and stops the water from trickling in. And then as they drink it, it goes down. That's cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll put links down to your, your channel and stuff. Cool. So people can find you. That was very good. I listened to it. <laughs> hi. So Hello. Hi. 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 Nice meeting you. Nice to you. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, thank you. watching it for a while. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the progression. Yeah. Oh my God, what am I doing? Yeah. Right. We're all learning.